Hello, everyone. Um, it's me, Jeff, again. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, what is... I mean, obviously, my channel is called uh, MCEP Tech, okay? Or just MCEP. Um, I wanted to explain a little bit about what MCEP Tech is. So, one thing I've envisioned is to create a course, if you will, um, uh, through Udemy, okay, um, and then use YouTube and Udemy to kind of help build this this channel, if you will, or this this course or program rather, um, to help educate those that are looking at automation or controls to be better equipped in that career field, if you will, um, especially the way the world's going today. We're seeing uh, a larger advancement towards uh, the reduction of the physical labor and moving in towards like robotics, uh, vision systems, sensors, and, and so on to uh, reduce that labor workforce. Um, so one thing I've envisioned um, is obviously, like I said, to build a program or a set of courses that would give you that education that you would need to move into that kind of a career path. So a little backdrop on that is I started out with a two-year technical degree. So I have an associate's degree in electrical technology from a community college I got um, that I attended. And I worked for about four and a half years as a controls technician when two different uh, major automation plants where, you know, a, a large portion of it was automated. So, I mean, I was the guy out there replacing motors, drives, PLC components, sensors, sensor cables, etc., putting new equipment in and, and doing all kinds of various projects along that lineup. And then after about four and a half years, I moved into an engineering position. So now I'm, I'm a junior manufacturing engineer in the automation side of it. And my title is a control specialist, but it's easier to just tell you I'm an automation engineer um, because in reality, that's what I am. Do I have a four-year bachelor's degree in engineering? No, I don't. So technically, no, I don't consider myself as an engineer, but my job is literally controls or automation engineering. Um, so back to the program thing, my goal is to teach you the things that I didn't know going into the engineering side of it. Um, there were a lot of things I assumed I knew. And yes, there are things that I do know. But there's a lot of things that I have learned in the last year and a half working as an engineer that I thought I knew that I didn't know anything about. And so would it have benefited me to have a four-year bachelor's degree? Absolutely. But would I trade the hands-on technical education for the bachelor's degree? No, I wouldn't. Reason being is because, yes, the theoretical would have helped me greatly, but at the same token the other has benefited me almost greater because now I'm that leg up on it. Would it benefit me maybe to go back to school and get that engineering degree at this point? Yes, it would. Um, the thing is, is I, I think in my own personal mindset, I have different plans than to directly go towards a bachelor's degree in engineering or even in information technology or along those lines. But back to the course and less about me, what I've envisioned is to show you the things that I wish somebody would have showed me before I took that leap or that step into that next position. Um, there are things that, such as technical documentation, technical writing, that I never even thought was a concept that an engineer had to take care of. But I'm telling you that there are some days that all you do in your office is nothing more than writing documentation of what you've changed, what you're going to change, and what you're planning to do. Um, there are days you literally sit there designing a PowerPoint, an Excel spreadsheet, um, writing the quote request, and then writing the documentation as to justifying why your project is necessary and why you want to do it. Um, and then there's days where you just sit there studying why this sensor does what it does and how it works. And then you meet with different various vendors and representatives teaching you how to use their components or working with their components and how their components integrate with your components or what 
this new part would look like in your manufacturing plant or something along those lines. And then you have to write the justification as to why you want to bring that into your plant. Um, so, again, back to what I was saying, is my vision is to take this MCEP tech and teach you the things that I wish somebody would have taught me before I took that leap. So that as a controls technician, you would have that education. You would say, you know, yeah, I didn't do this, but I knew a guy that did this and showed me how. Or, um, or you say, hey, I learned this on the internet and this is what I learned. And then you're able to explain in the job interview whatever you learned. Um, we are starting to see that that some of this stuff is becoming like an open source and open forum that that it's blowing up and we're able to to use that to our advantage as the individual as the professional that wants to advance their career and their knowledge base um udemy is a great platform for doing some of that stuff um you do get the little certificate of completion after you complete the course and stuff so it's very beneficial and if this is your avenue that you're wanting to to go forward in is in the automation side of it, I would encourage you to check out some of the videos that we have and that we've developed for course content. Um, and to, to go that route, I will tell you that it's it, it can't do anything but benefit you in your career path and in your goals forward. So... Um, definitely keep that in the back of your mind. If automation is your desire and your goal, check us out. Check and see what, what's out there to be learned in that, that program or that course. Um, the thing is, it's not just one little course on like, oh, like electrical theory or, or maybe how to use a camera system or what vision looks like. It's, it's a set of courses that build a whole program, if you will. So it's, You'll have your theory, your your networking, your your robotics, your Arduino systems, PLCs, and and not just one kind of PLC. You know, you got various different kinds out there. And yes, they all program very similar to the same, but they're not the same. That's the thing that we do have to understand. Um, how they integrate isn't always the same either. So I definitely want to encourage you to check that out, um, and just keep that in the back of your mind. So. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I encourage you once again to uh, do what you can to advance your career, and always stay safe.